forward. Um, how are you? Yeah, I'm great, thanks. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, doing well. Nice. Uh, we've got a few questions for you here, if you don't mind answering a few of them. Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, uh, the Raiders seem to be a landing spot for a lot of uh, English players like John Bateman, George Williams. Um, were you approached by any any other real clubs? And if so, what made you choose the Raiders? Um, my Lee's L at my agent um, deal with sort of other clubs and he's I've sort of always focused on the rugby and he's just told me if there's anything to do with even with Wigan or any other club is um, any serious like interest or anything like that. Um, so he was, he was just Canberra from the NRL. Um, he's my agent has spoke to a couple of other NRL clubs, but Canberra are the only uh, clubs to make me an offer. I, obviously, um, Wigan or Wigan also made me an offer, but the offer from Canberra was one that I couldn't. I couldn't turn down really. It's always been a um, a dream for me to go to the NRL and um, play with some great players and play against some great players as well. And uh, I know usually uh, people do it when they're older. Uh, John Bateman, George Williams, like when Ryan Sutton when they're 25, 26, and they've already made it in the Super League. But uh, I, it's a new challenge for me. Um, Doing it when I'm 18, um, and that's a challenge that I can't wait for. Um, to do with um, with the English Canberra sort of affiliation, I've, I've no idea really. I'm guessing uh, I'm guessing Canberra got um, they had uh, Elliot Whitehead and Josh Hodgson, didn't they? Uh, four or five years ago, and uh, they've done great for him. So I'm guessing they've uh, just gone off the back of that, and uh, it seems to be working for him at the minute, doesn't it? Yeah, Ricky Stewart must love the Englishman. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you ever played alongside John Bateman? I have not, no. Uh, when he was at Wigan, I was still 16, so I wasn't even in the academy at Wigan yet. I was still in the scholarship system, which is from 14 to 16, so I've never really, I've never met him. Uh, never mind played with him. Mm. It's, it's a shame because you don't even get to play with him at the, at the Raiders because he's heading back home. Yeah, he's leaving year. as soon as I'm going. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. He'd be a great... He's a, Sort of um, an idol for me is, uh, um, yeah, he's um, someone I'd love to uh, love to train with and learn from, um, and that's what I, Elliot Whited over there now. Uh, I can't wait to learn from him and um, take a few tips from him as well. Yeah. Um, where do you see yourself in five years' time? Uh, hopefully, playing in the NRL. That's my yep. that's my goal. Yep. Uh, I'd, take each step as it comes so I'll be going over there and probably into the under 20s as soon as I've played a, uh, a game in a while probably I'll probably hopefully maybe make my debut this year for Wigan um, if things go my way um, I hope so yeah and uh, even so I'll most I'll probably play a few games at the very most if it all goes my way so I'll, uh, I'll have to get back into the rugby so the under 20s will be the first step and uh, my first goal will be to Move up, move up into the reserves, and then my next goal will be move up into the first team, and my next goal will be on from, on the, on from there. Um, so in five years, hopefully, I'll be uh, an NRL player. See yourself with the Raiders in five years' time? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I've not, obviously, I've, I've not been able to experience the training, the coaches, the okay. environment yet, but from everything I've heard from it, and the reassurances the coaches have given me, it seems like a great place and somewhere that I wouldn't think about leaving. Yeah, nice. Um, How did you manage to keep fit during the uh, COVID period without any matches or game time? Well, over here it's been hard. Uh, the gyms have been uh, the gyms have been closed up until about two weeks ago. Um, so I've had about four months without a gym, which is... Uh, been pretty boring for me. Um, yeah, I've uh, I've borrowed I've borrowed some uh, I've borrowed some weights from Wigan, uh, and I've got my own weights. So I've been trying to keep up with the weights. But I uh, I, I thought I'd um, usually I'm a bit I'm quite a, quite a big gym person. I love I love uh, being in the gym. But I thought I'd uh, get into a bit of running. So uh, I've been doing five k's, ten k's, trying to better my times and that just to keep fit. Um, but then, ever since the gyms have reopened, I've been, been in every day, smashing it, trying to 
trying to get back to uh, where I was before lockdown. Yeah. Uh, what's your favourite cheat meal? Uh, I, I'll tell you what, I'll have a cheat meal every day, nearly. <laughs> but, no, uh, I, love, um, I, love, I, love, I love a pizza. They have a, I don't know if they have, they have Domino's over there. Yep. Uh, yeah, a Domino's pizza, you can't beat one of them. They are pretty good. Uh, do you have any pre-game superstitions? Uh, I don't actually. I'm sure I'll uh, I'll end up having having uh, superstitions when I'm older and uh, uh, more things have happened in my life. But at the minute, I just just take each game as it comes. Just get into sort of mind space at the start of the game that I don't have to work for 80 minutes and then uh, get out of it at the end of the game and have a bit of a laugh. But there's nothing, uh, no nothing. That I could think of that um, I do before a game, really. Mm. Are there any other codes that you support, whether that being you know, EPL or? Well, I see. I don't support a team in, uh, for, um, in the Premier League, but I do, I do watch a bit of football. I'll uh, I'll have a bet now and again, five pound here, five pound there. Maybe once a month. I'm not a not a big betting guy, but yep. yeah, yeah. I I'll watch I watch the football. Um, I watch I watch any sport really if it's on telly. There's not not really a team I support, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of any sport really. Yeah, whatever whatever's on, you watch it. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much the same with me as well. Just all so, about likes of sport. Yeah, you can. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I'll, it'll be. The Olympics or the Winter Olympics, somehow I'll whack it on and I'll be watching it for hours. I'll uh, for, yeah. forget forget what I was meant to be doing. Um, who do you think will take out the Super League Premiership this year? Hopefully, Wigan. They, they've um, only just started back after the yes. lockdown, haven't they? So uh, they had uh, two games on the weekend. Uh, Wigan's first game is on the ninth, which is next Sunday. Yep. Uh, they played about uh, about five or six games already this season. I think Wigan a second on points difference. So uh, if I had to bet this this year, I'd, I'd say Wigan. They've got a got a great squad and uh, mm. got quite good depth as well. Yeah, I'm I'm a Catalans Dragons fan. Oh yeah, hey, yeah. Play, play some good rugby. Play some good rugby then. Mm. Um, who do you think will take out the NRL Premiership? You probably haven't seen too start, much of it. At the start of the... Oh, no, I've, I've been watching every game, actually. I've, I've had nothing else to do. Yeah, um, so the start of the year, I thought it was going to be Parramatta. Um, yep. But I feel like they might go off the boil at the end of the season. So I'd, I'd say I'd, I'd say Melbourne, I think. They always win it. I don't know. I, I, who did he play? Who did he play on the weekend? Uh, they played the Knights on the weekend, didn't they? And uh, yep. the uh, I think Pappenhaus and Munster and Cameron Smith, uh, mm. big players. Yeah. Oh, I'm a Rooster supporter, and we always win it as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't be winning it this year though, with all the injuries you got. I'm I'm not looking forward to tomorrow's game. Who are you playing? Uh, we've got the Dragons. Oh, it'll be a tough one. They're getting better, aren't they, the Dragons, at the minute? They, were, they started off pretty bad, but yeah. We've got seven of our starting side out. Yeah, it's, uh, the, you had a lot out last week against the Titans, didn't you? That was, uh, that was a close game. Yeah, that was 18-12, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was... Uh, I watched that one, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who, who do Wigan have in their first game back? Uh, Wakefield next week, so Wakefield. hope hopefully awesome. Touchwood. That's a good game to start with, a good win. Hopefully, yeah, let's hope you take the the two points there. Hopefully, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all the questions we have right now. All I yeah, could, it's uh, all I could really think of. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's been great, mate. Yeah, um, thanks for uh, taking the interest and taking the time to ask me the questions. But it's not. I'm not exactly a big player, or you know, uh, I wouldn't class myself as a big player. You know, I'm not not very well known, so it's uh, yeah. it's uh, been a good good starting point for me to answer some questions and uh, get an insight into what people think. Yeah, thanks for taking the time out to sit down and have a chat to us. 
No worries, no worries. It's been uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, hope hope you come up in the NRL when you arrive next year. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I'm uh, always around if you wanna ask me anything or get in touch about anything. For sure, we'll definitely keep in touch. Yeah.